Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition Mass Effect 3 and War Terminal. Have we got anything new? Nope. Primark. Right, I've got a few main quest missions still to do, haven't we? There is good old Rex who doesn't really say much to us. We have to go and cure the genophage. Which is probably what we're going to be doing now. Yes, troopers. Are you ready for this, guys? Unless there's any more missions on there. Oh, you're not talking to me either. Anything on the terminal? No. Okay, this is it. This is the one, I think. I think we're actually going to go and kill the genophage. This is kind of where I'm like, oh, do we do what? I'm planning on doing on a renegade playthrough and not helping. Them. It all basically builds up from one, really, on how you can do it. Okay, to chunk our cure, the genophage. That is what we are doing right now. Let's do it. All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? The sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Damn straight. Incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. We can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Do we did take who really should we take with us? I think we should take two people who especially seem needs to do one of one of their friends. We're gonna take Liara and Garrus. Sorry Javik, you'll have to wait. Okay. 
Go change your guns though. I like that one. He's already got guns that I know he's good with, so I'm going to keep them. I've been using Garrus, I haven't been using the Aura. Yeah, it's been a long time since I used her. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from you. <sighs> Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the Hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Crow gonna be in the fight of their lives. Grow you, you monsters! Jesus, Garrus, what are you doing, mate? Screw you, you horse. Kaboom. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else for which I'm thankful I remember what it means to be a true Krogan <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood we don't invite them into our home this Salarian is not your enemy he's here to help cure the genophage his kind gave us the genophage why should we trust him Go on, Rex. Because I do. And so will you. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs>
Copy that, Artemis. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard out. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions. Countless deaths. Creation of genophage. Expansion plan problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interfered. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on her. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. It's not the biggest one, is it? It's quite a small reaper. Shepard, we've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper Cardinals are here. Oh, no. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Oh, she's Artemis, crazy. Do you copy? We have to abort, Commander. That Reaper's tearing us to pieces. Understood. Save your pilot. We'll find another way. Yeah, don't get your asses kicked. Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. Okay. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure.
This bit's so cool. Give me some more light. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws? When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Wild Guess says that's Kalros. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Yeah, I think so too. It's crazy, look at them. Krogan used to ride on beasts. <sighs> Reapers. Bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Finally, light ahead. In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Dealing with the Reaper when we get there will be another matter. We'll deal with it. I never knew the Krogan had this in them. Maybe Eve is right. Curing the Genophage might lead to a Krogan renaissance. Nothing stays quiet here for long. Screw you, Rachni. Tarians. Cannibals are the best ones, I think. They got the best guns. God, they're the worst ones, the rat eye ones. That blimmin' shotgun thing they've got on their side. About it, we're fine. Another quake that had to be Cal Ross. Stay sharp. Cal Ross is getting beast. Kill the big boy. God, they're big, ain't they? The Krogan ones. Just worry about getting out of there right now. 
Looks like another shooting gallery. Rex has a brilliant mind for war, doesn't he? he really does. Like his plan that he's got is just absolutely crazy. I was about to attack you then. I thought you was one of them. And that's silvery armor. I see Rex's point about needing a new home. Watch it, more ahead. I see them. They're gonna die, we'll kill them all. They ain't gonna beat us. Quick, 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 let's go. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that town, I don't know. We're curing the Genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. And I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. <laughs> Cal Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. She's awesome. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. 
appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby will finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a sister to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! Now, let's show them why! We'll sort this scum out. Go! I've got this! Okay, they'll get yourself killed then. I have earned my breaths! And this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Rex is killing the Rachni. Let's get in there! We're gonna summon some at worse. We're gonna summon a fresh Mother of all fresh mores. Right. That big ass a reaper, man. We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. I'll handle it. Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Quick, Morton. They're all over us now. Got it. To our left. Cheer advice. Bloody awesome, aren't they? Let's push ahead. Yeah, be careful, guys. They don't want you guys dying. Over on our left, one of the hammers. Bigger ones on the right. Get these hammers and run them down entirely. Get through this. Listen, you big, ugly monster. Boom. Basha. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck on a bloody rock. Got me wedged in, man. Come on, just got me wedged in. He actually wedged me in the rock. Damn monster. Run away! Run past him. Run past and get to the hammer. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, bloody heck. There's one. Don't lose that. Run! Oh, crap. Every way! Run, 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 run! There's a Reaper in my way! Alright, here we go. Go! Get back to the truck! I'll take care of the cure!
Bye bye. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place, his own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him, right over there. That's what the Genophage reduced us to, animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Oh, that's a name.
Akara. Reapers are screwed. Now that we've got the Taurians and the Krogan working together, the Reapers are absolutely screwed. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Oh, this nightmare again. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden back on Vermeer. He died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, he might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. 
Let me guess. He called the comm room. The consul must be taking the crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. See, now they want something. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Udina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... ...this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. So we actually have some more intel now as well. Krogan. Heard not Rex fought alongside Commander Shepard during the Reaper's first invasion attempt in 2183. Afterwards, he returned to Chanka and spent the following years rising to the leadership of his clan. 
championing progressive methods meant to strengthen the crown as a whole. Conservative elements were unhappy, but news of a successfully cured genocide has solidified united all of Chichanka under Brexit's command, how not only as a great warrior but a saviour. The Krogan will follow Erdnut Rex into the moors of the Reapers themselves, which is what you want. You need him alive for the Krogans to follow you fully. If you if he's not alive, then it's probably best to go with the Salarian's plan. Centuries of Krogan in fighting abruptly halted with the news of a cure for the genophage. With their future restored, Changa's clans have united in a stellar force not seen since the Rachni War. The clans have also been stockpiling weapons of mass destruction for decades. Thankfully, their full destructive force can now be turned on the Reapers instead of Sachanka. Their strength, size, and regenerative powers make the Krogan ideal shock troops. Clan Erdnot has become the unofficial but uncontested representative body of Krogan power to the rest of the galaxy. Within the past decade, Erdnot's warriors have either absorbed or wiped out clans Nakmor, Jordan, Quash, and even the legendary ferocious clan Rake. The discovery of a fertile Erdnot female rallied even more Krogan, regardless of affiliation to Erdnot's banner. And we've got Krogan mercenaries. Many Krogan went fortune seeking out in the lawless terminus systems. Their imposing bulk and infamous brutality won them prized positions as bodyguards and mercenaries. When news of a genophage cure spread, these drifters were contacted by their clans and urged to join Shepard's forces against the Reapers. After centuries of aimless brawls and bleak futures, Krogan everywhere are heeding the call. Got Torians now. Torian 43rd Marine Division. The Torian 43rd Marine Division was founded during the ancient unification wars that rocked Palavan over 2,000 years ago. The 43rd uh, maintains relations with other council races during joint training exercise with Asari, Salarian, and more recently, Alliance military forces. Knowing how their allies fight has become an asset, as the 43rd's troops have the discipline and experience to integrate into any army on any battlefield. Turian 7th Fleet The Turian 7th Fleet was assigned the privilege and burden of guarding the crucible during the weapons construction and deployment. The fleet flies constant surveillance around the massive device, coordinating with Alliance security patrols and VI-run counter-intelligent programs. Really, that's, that's interesting. Seventh Fleet knows what it would cost the galaxy if the Reapers breached their defences. Every vessel's captain is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice if it ensures the crucible's safety. Updated. Covering the legendary banner of the 1st Regiment lifted the spirits of overworked Turian forces. And we've got the Turian Engineering Corps. In a society where the military is synonymous with the government, the Turian Engineering Corps is responsible for everything from maintaining sidewalks to creating spaceports. Their fame spread beyond Palavan after they helped repair the damage done to the Citadel by Sovereign in record time. TEC engineers view the Crucible as the greatest challenge of their career and have sped up the building process with their expertise and equipment. And we're nearly at the point where you, you can get a good ending. Well, I have 10 minutes. Can we get anything else law wise on this ship? Bethany, you see the bits of the Maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Yep. What have you got here? Ah, uh, yeah, and an alert new article on Reapers. Ferros, a group of colonists on Ferros have mounted defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Gev attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as, as supply salvage from a defunct Exogeno facility. This colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Lizbeth Bainham said, We've survived worse and we know how to fight together. Colony expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Still fighting from Shiala. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Helium. The Forian is dead now, I can confirm that, but the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level, 
they're still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing as we fight back the reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated, I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Forian as its thrall, but my connection to the people of Zeus' hope is stronger, it drowns out the reapers' voices. This situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos, our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Ferris soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you, Shiala. Impressive work from General Corinthus. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived from Menai, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavan might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus, Menai Command. Making babies. Shepard, making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Celtic verb, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to serve the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Rex for you. You'll regret a poor decision from Dalatras Linron. I really do not care. Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions on Chachanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When the day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Delatrus Linron, Salarian Union. Commander Shepard, piss off. Who cares? What's she going to say? Stupid. Oh, that Salarian Delatrus is an idiot. Oh, it's All right, my turn. What's the first order an alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask me a sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not, but he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. 
It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Yeah, we hope so. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. What do you want? Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie <coughs> agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Engineer Donnelly means to say is that we're confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. I'll get it. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Right, I'm going to finish this video here, guys. We're coming to the end of it. And in the next one, we'll continue to talk to everybody on the ship. And then I'll go and do the mission 